What is up guys, Jake here and welcome to my new FIFA 12 Road to Glory series where we will be trying to create teams from every nation around the world from Spain to Zimbabwe well, maybe not Zimbabwe I don't even know if they're on FIFA but yeah, you get the picture it might take me a while to get going as I'm starting from scratch with no coins and no players from any other account I've got but once I get the coins rolling I should be able to move from nation to nation quite successfully as you can see, my starter pack was pretty shite one silver player and no real pace anywhere so lots of work for me to do no coins means no trading and no packs so we're gonna jump straight into the first match and we're against a similarly leveled opponent although he has clearly had time to get this bronze english team together and he's got that all important chemistry up to 100 so if chemistry is important as it's made out to be it could be quite a tough game for us into the first half and that cheeky back heel sets us on our way good interchange between Radu and Sakuna Radu throwing goal and I'll tell you, this guy is a beast. I've never, I think I've heard of him before, but I don't know who he is. He's an absolute tank. He scores when he wants. And that was the first half. We are lucky to be going in ahead. As you can see from the stats, we've been absolutely dominated. And his pressure finally told, but uh, that's inexcusable. My fault completely. Robbed of my own box, and that's just cheap goal to concede. But my God, did we get him back? Corner comes in, keeper saves it, there's no danger. Bam, robs it, knocks it in, and if you look at the time, 90 minutes. That is a big slap in the dick for him, but I was lolling my head off. And that is how the match finished. 2-1, my keeper picking up a man of the match, but most importantly we got some coins which we're going to go and spend on some new players. First we picked up Dominic Adia for 200 coins which should be a good buy because he's got more pace than anyone up front at the moment and we also picked up Iddy for 200 coins from I don't know where but yeah those players in the starting lineup gonna go through into the next game now and well this guy's obviously just gonna abuse pace which is how it's done in Ultimate Team and Zogby on right wing Shane Long up front and a 70 overall centre forward from Italy I don't know who he is in the first half, Adia gets a good ball, good touch, and they keep backing off. Can he finish? Nope. But who's there? That man again, Stefan Radu. Easy tap in for him, but makes it 1-0. That was the first half. Bit more dominance from us this game. And here we go again. Short corner. Get the cross in. And who is it? It's Stefan Radu. Of course it is. There's no one else that we need. And that was the game at 2-0. Once again, my keeper was man of the match which I felt was quite harsh in the way we played but got more coins once again we're going to use those coins to buy some new players Michael Titty at left back then we signed Joe Kafour up front, a bit more pace once again and lastly we got Chibza who plays in centre mid and I don't know who he plays for, I don't really care but last match of this episode against Tekkers FC, very original name I don't think I've ever seen the word Tech as put in an ultimate team name before. But he's not got that good a team, not in comparison with the other two people we just played, so hopefully we can win this one. First highlight of the game, big through ball to expose a terrible defending. And what does he do? What well, everyone does on ultimate team, he tramps it and still nearly fucks it up. I suppose I can't say much about trampy goals after the one I scored before, but it still makes me rage and I couldn't level the scores, closest I came was hitting the bar but it finished 1-0 and that's all for now folks, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed drop me a comment below telling me what you thought, thanks for watching guys, peace